Yes, indeed. Big round of applause for Morgan Heritage. Yes, indeed. Wow. Big round of applause for their legacy. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Since the days of Johnny B. Good tonight. <laughs> Back in the early 80s when my mother used to rock their dad's music That's right. as a child. Come on, man. Yes, I'll, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> They've been looking at me like, stop it. That's 1982. Let me tell you. That's right. I can't hear you, Heather. When the cookouts was cooking. Come on. That was a tremendous year. Those years were tremendous, yeah. Yeah, um, in my opinion. In my household, we listened to Peter Tosh, sure. yeah, yeah. right, in the 70s, the Marleys, mm -hmm. um, Greg, Gregory Isaacs, of course, Bob. We listened to all of these different artists, this True. incredible vibration. Yes, wow. Because the music wasn't just about words. No. You know, it, it, and just about sounds. Right. Right. It, it was about feeling and everything that mm -hmm. came with it. And when those words and those sounds fused, it created a byproduct Indeed. that was uplifting, yes. you know, that made you feel good. Yes. It made the cells in your body yeah. vibrate. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right? It was an deep. electrical shock. Yes. Yeah, man. And it would open up your chakras and all your passages, whether it's spiritual, f physical, and it made you better. True. Yes. Right? True, true. It put you on a higher level. Your father was about that, yes. right? Uh, that generation, that era uh, was about that. And then you guys, you all uh, continued to tradition yes. Yes, sir. as the children and passed on that same energy and about the 18 albums you might have done. Yeah. You know, I don't know how many it is. I know yeah, it's a well, lot of albums. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I do anything else but make music. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> oh man, we yeah. cook. We cook in the cook? kitchen. Yes, cook? man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cook in the kitchen. Yeah. And, and we can legally smoke herb now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So, you don't feel guilty when you mm, put it in there? No. Okay. We don't have, it was funny. We in Brooklyn yesterday, and I'm smoking a spliff outside, and the cops walking by. It's like. If daddy could live to see this. Man. Oh my God. Right? Yeah, man. Right? Yep. Yeah. Man. It's heaven. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Please I'm welcome so Morgan Heritage yeah, to the building, yeah, ladies yeah, and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. They are here. Yeah. Yes, sir. And when royalty, when royalty makes its appearance, and other royalty comes out yes. Yes. to play. Yes. yes. We can't get too many people off their mountaintop. Ooh. You know, we can't get some of the people who really are the in the fabric of the DNA of this place. Yeah. And they're representing this music. Yes. Yeah, Reggae music, consciousness, sky, roots, yes. you know, dance hall, whatever, mm -hmm. wherever you want to put, whatever category you want to put it in mm -hmm. that comes from Jamaica. Uh, we've had a gatekeeper here oh. that made sure that it was getting the proper exposure. Thousand. It was Dang. put in the proper context. Mm -hmm. It was protected with the proper love. Yeah, so man. these corporate folks, you know, these powers to be, so on, yes. won't fuck it up. Mm -hmm. You know, True. and yeah. she's been doing that, and she's yes. introduced a lot of artists from Jamaica to the States and to yes. the yes. world. I want to welcome Pat McKay. Yeah. 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 So the legend. Yeah. Yeah. But it's my privilege to have watched Morgan Heritage's journey. Yeah. You know, originally a five-member group, mm -hmm. all of the family always there. But to know them when their dad made that hit, I was working in the only reggae club in New York. Yep. And I just told them this, this story. I'm sorry to have to say this again, but <laughs> yes, I have to. Please. So we had sound check because that club owner, who was Ken Williams, was the PD of a radio station uh -huh. also. What he station? Ran, Do you uh, remember? WLIB. Okay. But he ran that club like it was Radio City. So the sound check was at a certain time in the afternoon of uh -huh. the show. Tiny little club, uh, a second avenue between 11th and 12th. Uh -huh. The best little whorehouse in Texas <laughs> was the off-Broadway show upstairs. So Denroy <laughs> picked these up from school and brought them to rehearsal or sound check. Like soldiers, they came with this downstairs club. They come down this in a line. And he spoke, he said two little words to them, took on the stage, went on the stage. They didn't make a peep. So I said, Denry, where you get them y'all from? Because they're grade schoolers. Yeah. So he it said, I saw them girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Like, Yuna had barrettes in her hair that I always remembered. Because my mom used to use ribbons when I was little, but uh -huh. Yuna had 
fly barrettes and braids <laughs> mm-hmm. so i always remembered her for that and please give her my love absolutely yeah morgan you heritage are. and you got that huge award sunday night tell us yes, about yeah. that please that was amazing i mean it was very unexpected because we were in the middle of making the new album the homeland yes i just came out in april and i think gramps made a trip to jamaica mm-hmm. and the office government office called him and said we want to do something special for y'all we didn't know what it was but, you know, they said they'll get in touch with us. And while during this tour, um, Mojo, he deals with the logistics every day for Morgan Heritage. So mm-hmm. he's on the phone talking to the prime minister's office in Jamaica, working out all these details. And I ain't paying attention to that. Graham's ain't paying attention. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing on the phone? Like, he, we having breakfast. He on the phone. We jumping on the flight. He on the phone. Like, bro, put the phone down. Mm-hmm. Nah, just chill, chill. <laughs> so... It all worked out where they were working out presenting us with the Reggae Icon Award wow. for 2023. Wow, guys. Morgan Heritage. In, in the land of reggae. In the land of reggae. Who presented it to you? The Prime Minister Prime himself. Minister. And, and Minister Bob Zagrinch. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's good stuff. Prime Minister Andrew again and again. Holness. Holness. Andrew Holness. What an ill name. Andrew yeah. Holness. <laughs> Why? The um. everyday people call him Bro God. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Broken? Bro, bro God. God. Bro God. Like bro for brother and God. Bro yeah. God. Bro God? Bro yeah. God. God? Yeah. Bro God. That's a slang yeah, in Jamaica. That's a it's slang. It's a slang. Like, bro, you know, bro God? Yeah. G-A-D. Yeah. G-A-D. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like in America, you say OG. Oh, okay. Bro yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Would I be considered bro God? A hundred thousand percent. Yeah, I got that. For sure. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 For yeah. your, for your legacy man. in the business and what you've done for hip-hop and black music? Sweet. Bro Come on. God. Yeah, man. You was a bro God. A bro God, Heather. <laughs> 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 Pat, continue. I love doing this with you. Yeah. How? Why, what? What do? You, what do you think? Um, Morgan Heritage uh, standout significance has been throughout their career. The respect that they've earned. Okay. Because you're coming into the game as somebody's child, so there's going to be that scrutiny instantly. Mm-hmm. And just they they originally proved, and they've stayed the same people that they were since you know we first became aware of them which was largely through protect us ja mm-hmm. with the great bobby digital yes. but mm-hmm. they had records before that but when you emerge with a song that's so substantive it's a lot to to live up to even in that moment but they lived up to it over all this time through all those albums and the different genres of music that they own as musicians mm-hmm. they've not just made reggae and you, they've gotten love and respect. Uh, Gramps has a solo Grammy for his solo work. Yeah. And is always, ha- has an open ear for other types of music, mm-hmm. which they have propriety over that too. They could do anything <laughs> as long as it's music, you know? Thank as long you. as it's music, I and love cooking. it. And yes. cooking. Cooking. Yes, cooking. Oh, so I said <laughs> cocaine. What are you doing today? What happened, man? He said, he said, he said, and patois. cocaine. Okay. okay. Marijuana only. Oh, okay. She, she, said, she went pot to on you. you. Okay. She said cooking. Okay. Cooking. Okay. Cooking. okay. Cooking. I saw a thirsty cooking. But yeah, that was a okay. sexy pot to voice. I was like, I don't want that okay. headline out of this interview. What was it? Did y'all have growing up as kids? Because it's a big. You know, uh, families of reggae. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, did, did the kids of the different families, the True. Marleys and so on and so Did y'all congregate? Did y'all? Well, we didn't meet Marleys until 1994 in okay. Mexico when we met Damien Marley for the first time. And Kimani. And Kimani Marley. And, and Mother Booker. And Mother Booker. Booker. Okay. So we was in uh, Cancun, Mexico uh-huh. and got a chance to, uh, we were just signed to MCA Records back then and we was doing a show together down there and that was the first time we met them and then the following year we saw them in Central Park and we finally met the big man Ziggy Marley uh-huh. and Steven yeah. Marley and, yeah. and that was and from then we've just been I mean Mojo and Steven Marley's like yo I mean they talk about everything uh-huh. everything so from that we've just gotten very close and as well as um, we just even just the other day we had a show in Jamaica at Reggae Sum Fest and we saw um, Freddie McGregor uh-huh. that you know he's fighting an illness right now we send prayers to Freddie McGregor and his two sons Genius has who has produced tracks with I mean Beyonce mm-hmm. and all kind of so he's reggae royalty as well so th- there's families there other than the Morgan family but we're all very close well okay man man uh, Morgan Heritage is here that's yeah. that's did y'all ever feel like Pat McKay brings up a good point like mm-hmm. your, your father's iconic and legendary did, did you ever feel the pressure to put to meet his standard as a musician he 
Yeah, not really for us. Right. Like going to Jamaica, it was more about trying to adapt as Americans in a new country. That's what it was more about. So like, was you trying to assimilate or adapt? <laughs> I mean, it, it, you can say either one, but for us, yeah, we was just having fun. He okay. was probably more worried about it mm-hmm. because we came, uh, grew up in between New York and Springfield, Massachusetts. Like we got our education there, but every holiday and every summer we'd be in Brooklyn, because that's where we're from originally. But there was a time when growing up and going to school, he would never hear us speak like this. Yeah. He'd never hear us speak like with an American, ac- with American yeah, accent. Yeah. 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 In in the house, I would talk at Jamaica, mm-hmm. and he got upset with us one day and said, "Who oh, no, if you learn if you talk American?" <laughs> 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 and, and he 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 was serious about it because yeah. he didn't. Th- he, I mean, we was teenagers, and he just never ever heard us speak like how we speak in school. Yeah. So he thought we couldn't. Uh huh. Says the owner for born America, no can't talk like the Yankee people. Then when we home, <laughs> yeah. When we were home, it's like straight Jamaican yeah. rust. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the whole culture. <laughs> <laughs> we in there praying, oh you know, eating. So the culture of Jamaica is always strong. But when we went outside the door, we're like, "Yo, what's up, dude? Yeah. Yo, what's going yeah. down?" It's like, "Yo." But so, he never experienced that. But he us. never experienced because it's like, "Oh, we can't talk like." And back then, in, to in, you know, in the Jamaican home, you have to have respect. Your parents, yeah. Man. Like you can't come in at their house and I go on like, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up. You, you, you can't, can't do that. that. No, no, you can't. Now, no, what would happen if you did that? Man, no. Straight, beating man. Straight, yeah. straight. He's straight. He's straight. He's straight. He's straight. My our parents, our mothers. Yeah. He got tied up to a tree. Yeah, I'm um, Damn. Yeah. And, and, damn. <laughs> and then, and His then the mom. Other, and then check it out. What? My father had two wives. Yeah. Sway. Okay. At the same time? Yes. Same yeah. Time. We, all we grew, grew up, up in the same one house. house. The wives were both yeah. in the house. Yeah. Our mother was on the first floor. Peter's yeah. mother was on the second floor. The older kids was on the third floor. And the yeah. basement we, we was got, our playground. We got kicked out of a neighborhood in, in, in Springfield, Massachusetts, because there's too much people in the house. Yeah. The neighbors called the city on us. And said, "There's too much people living in that house." Yeah, man. And <laughs> my, my 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 dad and two wives and all the the older kids who were in high school getting ready to go to college was the living in the basement. Okay. We the middle kids was in the on the on the. And, in the middle dude, floor. I don't think it was only a three three family Did house. The wives get along. Um, I mean, three. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. For eighteen, for 18 years, years until my mom passed away. Oh, they oh, kept daddy in line. Wow. They kept daddy. So in back line. to his story. He got. He was so bad. Yeah. His mother always wanted to just like. Ring his like, neck. Boy, ah, come here. She told me not to go outside, and I still went outside. One of my friends, rest in peace, Buzzy, he came over and he was pressing my back on the back of the fence. And she told me, "Don't go outside." One thing with a Caribbean parent, when they tell you don't do something, and you do it, you're gonna get a beaten on, on top, top of what you just did. Yeah, I'm on good field. So she called me, <laughs> tied me up to the tree, and said, "I'm gonna show you how we do it back in Jamaica." This was in Springfield, Massachusetts. What? And the other mother, which was Peter's mother, said. No, give him a chance. No, and I'm like, ah, oh, me I got dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then she let me go, and they gave me another chance, and I turned out all right, sweet. Yeah. You did all right. You got a, how many Grammys you got now? Uh, three. Okay, yeah, you did all right. How many yeah. Icon Awards you got? Yeah. You know, yeah, you did. All right. I'm glad she didn't peel your skin off your yeah, back like yeah, that. Yeah, not I'm, that time. I'm so fascinated about this living dynamic. Me Listen, too. our father was serious, man. Gonna be we want to meet Oprah one day and let her do a video, uh, movie on my father. Really? Like yeah, seriously? It's like that serious? If you knew the life we lived here in America, you think the Jackson story is serious? Yeah. Like Joe couldn't have two wives. Nah. My dad had two wives for eighteen years until Mama Pearl passed away. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So what was what were holidays like with all the kids? Just Insane. Ma- just a madness. lot of food. Yeah. To be honest with you, every day was a holiday. Cause we had we our was own just... talent show. We got that on video. We, like when you when y'all see these footage, we have a brother that danced just like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. And then me and Peter used to copy Bobby Brown and Guy and True. New and Edition. Like that's where we got our singing from. It was that era. That's that's the school we come from. The Jodeci School. The School yeah, of yeah, Jodeci. Yeah, 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 for sure. Troop, Shy. Yeah, all of that. All of them. That's what we grew up there. listening. Oh, to. he had the Gumby and, and yeah, yeah the Bobby Brown everything. He, he, he Peter danced Jerry just curled like yeah. Bobby Brown. Who was Jerry Curled from Jamaica? Peter and Jerry Curled. I mean, growing up in black America, who didn't experience Jerry Curl? I I didn't. I didn't. Well, you lucky. (laughs) (laughs) You lucky. But here's the thing. My brother did. My older brother. So someone in your family did. Yeah. Yeah, Like, we, we grew up hard. 
but it was fun. Yeah. Like, our parents couldn't buy us Christmas gifts. It was too much of us. Yeah. You know what we used to do? You know vinyl records. Mm-hmm. Yo, our father, man, we used to rip open his vinyl records, like flatten them out, mm-hmm. and make our own board games, our own Monopoly. Yeah. We drew, wow. it, drew it on Ooh, it. And I like, remember that. And when he come home to find his records, all the record cases are opened up. Yeah, we made or we made boards. wrestling belts out of it. Yeah, we, and, yeah. and we w- took w- apart w- the walls in the basement, <laughs> made our own makeshift wrestling ring. Until one of our brothers busted his head, he got body slammed. Yeah. He busted his loops from the bed from the group. Anything in the house yeah, that we could tear we or do, or no do something, we use it to make our toys. Yeah, and that's where the creativity came in because with the, the, like happiness, it's not a lot. Of, there's a lot of angry rich people. Yeah, you know? yeah. And mm-hmm. you find that a lot, amongst the poor, that the spirit of God is there and their their happiness. True. Yeah. You know, so you find that in Jamaica, people play marbles in the dirt. Yeah. And fine, and take tops. When last you see a, ki- a kid spin a top? You know, now everything is no. is really. When's the last time you saw a kid go up by the the lake and throw a stone across the water and watch it skip? And well, what yeah. about Skelly, Gramps? Yeah. That we used to play in the streets Skelly in Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Uh-huh. New York. If you're from New York, you know Skelly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm from Oakland. What's Skelly? Oh, it's a bo- it's a uh, like a the board game. You, yeah, you, like you a square, in the and the you put like numbers in the corner, like the Ludi board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you and take you a top and you put wax in it. Uh So you take like the milk top and you you go for like. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, the, wax. The, the bigger the bottle wax. cap, you put the wax in it. We call those the truckers. Uh huh. So you can knock people out of the box and. and oh, I get it. Yeah. Every New York, I know street. that. I'm sure Jay Z yeah. remember Skelly. Okay. Friend, if you're from Brooklyn, you, you know had it. to play Skelly. Yeah, I, I was going <laughs> to yell Skelly. You said talk about Skelly. Yeah, <laughs> it had to had to play. Did did it involve money or uh, no, 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 no? Oh, okay. Well, maybe she didn't play. But it play. was serious. Yeah. It was, <laughs> people took it very serious. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow, I love, I love this, man. Um, Morgan Heritage is here. We got people on the phone lines. I know uh, Tracy and Heather got questions. Yeah, I want to play this new single. It's called You Got to See the World. Yes, yes, sir. All right, tell us about this song. So You Got to See the World is a song where, from the new album called Homeland where we're encouraging people to travel because sometimes where you come from is not where you belong. Yeah. And you have to find another place to really discover your path in life Mm -hmm. and being world travelers as we are we discovered our true passion and what makes us who we are today it's being ambassadors from brooklyn representing via jamaica to the world so it's important for us to make sure we deliver that message we have a duty to deliver that message to all people but especially our people as black people here it is, man. Morgan Heritage, 888-742-3345. And Pat McKay is up in here, y'all. You got to see the world. Morgan Heritage. Eddie Kinzo Espilla is out right now. You guys worked with Eddie Kinzo before, right? Yeah, well, this, this is actually our first time. This your first time? First time, yeah. but we've, we've done two records on the album. With, with Eddie Kinzo. Yeah, I met him out at the Grammys um, last last year, I think, when I, I got nominated as a solo artist. And we was on walking on the red carpet, and he was like, hey, Morgan. And I'm like, well, I know you. So it just shows you by traveling to Africa, you meet these artists, and then boom, we, we bumped up into each other on the red carpet. So he's from Uganda. So from going to the um, Black Star, um, the festival uh, that Chance the Rapper did in Ghana, yes, sir. I met Stone Boy. Yes, right. sir. He's on the album, right? He's on the That's album yep. with Bounty Killer and Baby Sham on a record called Who They Like You. Yeah. Yeah. That That's one did good. Did y- were they in the studio with you at the time, or how did y'all, y- y'all just kind of emailed it in? Or? Yeah, through yeah. the internet, Zoom, uh-huh. yeah. WhatsApp videos, <laughs> uh-huh. all of that. Y'all got great like collaborations on this, right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Incredible. We're featuring artists from across 11 countries in Africa. Never been done before. Big ups to Beyonce on her effort and the great Paul Simon on his effort with Graceland. And um, for us, we wanted to display how much Africa means to us and the connection and inspiration that we have been to each other because we've inspired this whole Afrobeats thing. When you listen to it, you you can hear dancehall and reggae music in it, (laughs) but they've also inspired us. So just by our DNA, so it's about activating that within us and 
making sure we maintain that cultural exchange bridge. So we're featuring Yusu Endur mm-hmm. from Senegal, Alpha Blandi from Ivory Coast, mm-hmm. um, the grandson of Fela Kuti from Nigeria. His name is Madi Kuti, son of Femi Kuti. Um, Eddie Kenzo, you mentioned mm-hmm. about from East Africa. S. Villa from South Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, that, um, who, Popcorn is on it. Popcorn is yeah. on mm-hmm. it. That's just the African. So in Jamaica now, we went for legends. The concept of the album is legends work with legends. Existing legends and future legends. So you got Shaggy, mm-hmm. Bounty Killer, Capleton, but then you have Popcorn, Jashi, Ritical, Ayak Tia. Beanie Man. Beanie Man. Man. Yeah. Shaggy. It's, you know, it's a nice pulpery of artists, like over 30 artists, I think we featured. Mm-hmm. We didn't realize This is your what first we time doing. doing this, though, right? First, first time. time yeah, yeah. World Music Album. Yeah. And we've messed with rock growing up in New England. R&B naturally, you hear it in the vocals. Like, She's Still Loving Me, one of our biggest songs. We don't sing in patois yeah. on that whole record. It's R&B uh-huh. singing. And to be able to collaborate with these African artists, it means a lot to us for the future of our music as black people. I love it. Homeland is the album is out right now. It's an ode to Africa. Morgan Heritage is here. We got Tor- Tori from Massachusetts on the line. Oh, wow. Tori, what up? Yo. Hey, hey what's happening, Sway? What's happening, bro? Go for it. Hey, uh, I just want to say peace to the Morgan Heritage. Uh, I grew up in Springfield, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm 46 wow. years old. Uh, my cousin and uh, Aaron and uh, Sonia and my auntie Rose. Oh, hey. Hey. No, no, Sonia. Oh, no. Wow. Are you joking? Nah, I'm serious. Sonia and Nikia. Wow. Nikia, oh, those Nikia. were your neighbors. Those were your neighbors? Yeah, yeah. This is your neighbor right here? We played every day together. <laughs> like our best friends. Our best cousins. Wow! Like, yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to my pops, Charlie. You know, what I'm saying CJ. Yeah, you know, man. Over there. Wow! Yeah, no. You taking us back, Tori? <laughs> Thank you so much, man. <laughs> big up, Tori. Big Yo, up. You talking about from kindergarten, preschool, all elementary, through, junior high, high school. school? We all grew up together. Yeah, my wow. All the yeah. way to high school. Tori, you remember them? You hung out with them? Yo, I got a fu- funny story, Sway, you know, because I used to live over on the hilltop, you know, wow. with my mom's, but I would come over to Bristol Street over there. Bristol you know, Street. The Street. Yep. So, <laughs> Bristol so, Street. you know, I'm with my cousin Aaron. Then, you know, I see them over there, and, you know, uh, I remember one name. It was Memo. That's him, uh, Chase. And be- Mojo. Yeah. He <laughs> Mojo now. He Mojo but, now. Yeah, yeah. Mojo. Yeah, yeah, but he Memo. That's say, Memo. Yo, yeah, that's him. Chase is out the street and shit, yo. They used to tell them get his shit, yo. Like, oh, no. Come on, Tori. I'm, I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Come on, man. <laughs> you a bully? <laughs> you a oh, bully? Oh, oh, man, yeah. why you doing me that, Tori? Wow, that's crazy. Yo, listen, Tori, I got to connect y'all. I'm going to put him on hold so y'all <laughs> yeah. we can get you his yes. information. Wow. This is right amazing, on, brother, right man. On. Are that's... you proud of him? Hell yeah. I used to go to school with Miriam and Nishaya, <laughs> oh, too, man. Yes. Oh, yes. I mean. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because that's a young... Yeah. Oh, my God. Get his wow, information, Kalani. Yeah, man. I'm going to connect y'all, too. Tori, too. Man. Y'all need to be connected. Y'all remember 100%. Tori? Yeah. yeah. Was... Aaron was... Sonia, Sonia <laughs> and Nakia uh-huh. was me and Graham's age, whilst Aaron, the little brother, was Mojo's age. Uh-huh. So Tori and Aaron and Mojo's in the same age group. He's okay. talking offense. No lies. He ain't lying. Damn. He ain't lying about nothing. <laughs> man, see how that's divine intervention. He yes, happened to be so. tuned in. Hold on the line, man. We're going to connect y'all. We got Snee John. on the line from New York. Snee, what up? Snee. Snee, you there? Is it Snee? C? Slee? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, go ahead. What up, yeah, man? Yeah. How you doing, bro? All right. All right. What you want to say? I'm doing well. Doing well. First of all, I want to say, you know what I'm saying, the name of his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie I the first. Yes, I'm right. all right. Yes, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, Pat McKay, I just want to give you big ups. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, I've been a fan of yours, Gil Belly and all that. Oh, wow. wow. Wow, Pat McKay, you hear that, Pat? I really? Do. Thank you so much, sweetheart. That's sweet of oh, you yeah, to say. Pat McKay, but I'm just amazed oh, now that Tori called. And now Mojo speaks French. I've never heard him say potpourri before. So, yeah. <laughs> Morgan Heritage gone far. Yeah, they, they learn how to adapt. Um, anything you want to say, Snee? I want to say to Morgan Heritage, you know what I'm saying? Job work still moves on. You know, you know the deal Street. with, you know, big man, big man, and Raga and stuff, you know. Straight. You already know what it is. Yes, sir. Give I give thanks. Say, okay. Bless. And may Salasi I protect y'all on the road. Every, Every time. time. Right. Every time. Ja! Rastafari. Peace, you're a citizen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, TK, you want to say something? He is in Houston. Go ahead, TK. TK! 
Yes, sir. Sway, the architect of hip hop radio. What up? Hey, so, thank you, sir. I'll take Morgan, that. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Heritage, man. Just props to y'all. Y'all are incredible. Um, all the hip hop, they truly have missed out in collaborating more with Morgan Heritage, especially Pizza, one of the greatest voices that ever graced the mic. Thank you. Like thank that you. ass. Like, thank you. Also, I, I, I want to say, Gramps, Morgan, man, your song, Wash the Tears. Thank I you. listen to it every day. It is an inspirational song. Jesus. All the tears from my eyes times when the storms and the tides are raging high. We know we shall win. We know we'll survive. Mm. Love it. Bridges. I appreciate y'all. Bless Catalog, man. Brother, you're a citizen, man. I, <laughs> I appreciate like what you. He, Sway, I like what he <laughs> said. Yeah. You know why I like what he said? And, and and like he said, big up to you, the architect of hip-hop radio. Oh, thank you. And yeah. what he also said that was a major key is that Hip hop and reggae artists need to collaborate more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I pray that the Almighty will continue to inspire you. That because you know we're fans of the show, and I'll right. never forget my father was a big fan of you because he just oh, loved to see yeah, when the real. back back in the days when to see a, a man with no, a true. black man it's with true. dreadlocks on MTV. That's what he said. Really? My father was well, like, to no interview with the man with the yes. dreadlocks by the MTV. <laughs> 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 Word up! Word up! No yeah, lie, no yeah, no fan. No fan. <laughs> So yeah. then this to be up here now, to be up here now, just doing an interview with you, know, is a dream come true. I mean, yeah, we've man. been on the show before, but yeah. with this mission of the album merging the cultures and bringing hip hop and Afro beats and African music and reggae music together, he just dropped a major key. And I think when that starts to happen, it's gonna be something so big for black people around the world. Yeah. And and we're I've, it's been something that we've talked about in Jamaica a lot that there's not enough collaborations in reggae and dance hall. Uh -huh. And you see how, you know, Meek Mills got put on by, you know, Rose and then mm. Rose was put on by DJ Khaled. We need more of that. Yeah. And I think internationally when it gets to a big boom is when you're gonna see um hip hop and more reggae dance on. We've seen the success of Shabba Ranks mm -hmm. when he hooked up with Queen Latifah and mm -hmm. KRS One back in the day. Baby Sham and um, Be Alicia, Alicia Keys. Alicia yeah, Keys. Yeah. But yeah, we sir. need more. Like the guy said from Houston, we need more. Okay. Yeah. And that's when we're going to start winning, man. I love it. Uh, Morgan Heritage is here. Get that album, Homeland. It's out now. Tracy, you want to jump in? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, hey, my guys. Be you know, more. this conversation about global black culture, you yes, know, and how reggae is a branch of that, hip hop is a branch of that, et cetera, et cetera. What came to mind in hip hop when there is a white artist that wants to enter our genre, right? Mm -hmm. There might be some skepticism. You true. might have to do some background work. Mm. You got to make sure that they're not trying to appropriate the culture true, true. and that they can respect it. Even with sometimes when it comes to fans. In reggae, I've always noticed how much white people gravitate yes, sir. towards <laughs> that yeah, genre. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even like becoming artists themselves. For you guys, and maybe if you can speak on behalf of the culture in general, has there ever been skepticism, you know, a little bit of even distance or suspicion the way that we have been gatekeepers of hip hop? Okay. Or has it always been an open door policy? Back in the days, I remember when Peter Tosh was mad because, because, uh, people like Sting and Blondie from the UK yeah. used to be like, yo, uh, there was, the word was a culture vulture, I think. Right. And there was like, you know, the same way, you know, you see when a, a white artist start to do reggae and it's, it gets to mainstream radio, there was that kind of thing that, I would say mad. I wouldn't say not gatekeeper mm -hmm. because reggae is, I think, what we say one love, yeah, one love. But mm -hmm. when we see that the injustice start to, it's not equal then it becomes a topic to say, hey, welcome to the reggae from Jamaica. Yeah. And even today, there's still some of that, like even last year when Soldier, big up to Soldier, when they won um, Best Reggae Album, and everybody yeah. was like, how does a white, white reggae band, band yeah. win? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is uh, crazy, but that is that, like, how? Yeah, like, y'all been yeah, around, like, why? The, re yeah, the yeah, reason man, being because <laughs> reggae music has gone beyond the shores of reggae music, mm -hmm. right? Of so Jamaica. if we're talking about a genre, it's right. gone beyond the shores, so it's a genre, but culturally now, People were vexed, but yeah. is we Jamaica say out of many one people, True. as we say one love. So we cannot see that a reggae band True. come win best reggae album. It's a genre. It's not a real shouting or you understand. Okay. So and then again, and then you understand what I'm saying? But hold on, but, 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 but Cram's trying to be political. No, no, it's not, it's, it's not political. No, but it's a okay. wake up call for even we as Jamaican people yeah. because you see when you see the album, it's a reggae category. Mm -hmm. And what people don't want to do in America is identify that dancehall music is not reggae. Mm -hmm. Dancehall is 
another street form of music. Like, yeah. yes, we know say dance hall was a place in Jamaica mm-hmm. where the music was played. But now the name, the word dance hall has become the name of a genre Amra. of music. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you can't say soca is calypso. Never. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's two different music. And Bob Marley so didn't why, do dance hall. No, so why are <laughs> you going to say dance hall is reggae? No, it's not dance hall or dance hall. Like you can't say rap music is not R&B. Mm-hmm. You never see them say that in America. Yeah. Say, mm-hmm. Run DMC <laughs> did the R&B music. Never. Yeah. You know that was gonna saying? be my other question. Maybe break down because some people will just lump to your po- to your point. Reggae, dance hall, ska, roots. Yes. Mm. Describe the differences in those genres. What well, makes for, them for distinctively recent, for different? For recent years, yeah. Let's do the recent time. Cause ska and rock steady, that's way back. But reggae music, which is prominent now, mm-hmm. and dance hall music, which is the two dominant music coming out of Jamaica. Reggae music is is pretty much live band. Right. It was made that way. With band going at the studio, string up, play the music, we make music. Dance all you can string up. I mean, you can do reggae too, but it doesn't have the same authenticity when you do it with the live band. But with with dance all, you can do it on the drum machine. Mm-hmm. Just think of R&B mm-hmm. and rap music. Yes, That's dance hall and reggae. Mm-hmm. And when Soldier won the Grammy, at the end of the day, after the, all the, the bickering winded down after you know three months, four months, when you really look at it and listen to the Mandem album, it was reggae music. Right. It was a good album. White or black. It was a good yeah. album. Yeah. White it was black. reggae music. Yeah. You know you, what I mean? You agree with that, Pat McKay? Yeah. Nobody bring me in. Don't bring me in. Don't bring me in. You're talking about the door here. <laughs> no. You see, at the, at the end of the day, you, you, you can't ask a person like Pat that because... She's the they, oracle, a, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and some of us are purists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of us are 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 definitely stuck in an era and don't want to allow the music to evolve. We're one of the only genres of music on the planet that's plagued with that sort of um, nostalgia, where it's like mm-hmm. if it doesn't sound like this, it's not reggae. Right? Does Twenty One Savage sound like Curtis Blow music? Mm-mm. Night and day, but it's still hip hop. So we, as the creators of the music and the representatives out there in the media, we have to allow the genre of the music to grow. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are from geographically because Morgan Heritage was born in Brooklyn, New York. And to your question, Tracy, mm-hmm. yes, we face that. Mm-hmm. Being Americans, what are you trying? Oh, you're coming to Jamaica. What is this? You're not really Jamaican. You're <laughs> Y'all half, get you're that Jamaican. too. Yeah. 100%, yeah. which is what, which back going back to your question. Born Jamaican. Yeah. 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 Remember that group? We got our Jamaican yeah. citizenship yeah. and passport now, so them can go somewhere else with that. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Y'all, y'all got yeah. scrutinized because yeah. you were. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, wow. So we uh, I'm in that blame too. us, I guess, for yeah. opening the gateway mm-hmm. for other American to artists to, yeah. win, to win best gram, best reggae they album. They blame the you. You could because we were the first American reggae artists to oh. win. Wow. Yeah. yeah, Pat McKay. Wow. Anything yeah. Pat McKay, you want to say? Come on, come on in here, Pat. No, it's just difficult for me to have a conversation <laughs> about race and reggae music. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's not really. I think the main reason That's why not there the was uh, yeah. Yeah. A, a criticism of, of that award that year. Mm-hmm. But that band has worked for a very long time. Yeah. I'm not taking anything away from them. I think unity and organization and monetization hmm. make certain things possible that don't happen Facts. in other genres. Yes. And now she's, stuck. she's hit the nail on the right, head. There you go. Because uh-huh. where are we? When you look at the Latin industry, Latin music industry, the Latin community supports each other wherever they are on this planet. Mm -hmm. Does Caribbean music lovers do the same? Mm. We all know the answer. Moving my silos. Man, my man, I said, send me the song on WhatsApp. Come yeah. on, Bluetooth me the song, but they're, they're not, not going to stream it. Apple and, yeah. and, 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 then, it. and then you have WhatsApp groups <laughs> with thousands of people. Sending you drop your, your album, album today, and your whole album is in the group. Yeah. <laughs> so they ain't going to Spotify to stream it or nothing. And, and wow. you know. So why, why then are is anyone? Vex with the Grammy. You can't. That's, that's, that's what like, I'm saying. You that's can't. That's like the least of our worries. It's the least of our that's worries. That's just an accolade from, from your peers. If you value it in that yeah. way. If, right. If you place a value on someone's opinion, then that opinion has value. If you True. don't, then it won't. Right. So, yeah. That's... I love it, man. Uh, this is a powerful conversation. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Pat McKay. I know he's going to get it out of you. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan Heritage. <laughs> That's why This is here. great. The new album is Homeland. I know a lot of people calling, but, man, let's rub that record a little bit and see what we got, man. We got these Grammy Award, Icon Award-winning artists right here. Have to be. I know you got to cut out. 
She got to go to Urban View. I do. I got to. Why Thank you leaving? You. She's Jamaican. She got like 17 she got jobs. Heather, <laughs> I, do, she, she got, I do three different radio shows five she, days a week. Know, every day. Dinner. Five days a week. Yeah, three shows You're, a day. Oh, five Heather days a week. That, three man. different Come shows. On. But yes, I love y'all. Hard Thank you so much. Work. Thank you for what you said about traveling. I went to Jamaica for the first time in 1992. Was not born there, born in Jersey City, New Jersey, but it felt like home. Yes, sir. And I have kept going back ever since. Oh, and so oh, please you. keep encouraging folks to travel. Yes, and Because you just never know where your roots yes. are really planted. True word. You know? True so word. thank well y'all. Well yes, sir. Thank you. I love it, man. Heather B., y'all. Shout out to the Forbes family out of Jamaica. Yeah. That, that's who takes care of me. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, beautiful well, people. Well, we gotta, we gotta make you come visit the the, the property in St. Thomas. You gotta come visit our. You, you gonna make me do it? Yes, yes. Yeah. When, you, when you make somebody do it, that means you supply the plane ticket and everything <laughs> else. <laughs> Done. Okay, I mean, if you gonna Done. force me to do yeah. it, you gotta Done. 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 <laughs> say less. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't make me go there. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna I'm going kicking and screaming, but I'm going to show up to that first class ticket. Right, it's yeah. change your life. That, that, that hot water in Bath Fountain in St. Thomas, Jamaica, it, that's what that made our dad fall in love with it when he thought he was, you know, going to be having a stroke or something like that. It's a, it's a place where the hot water was discovered by a slave escaping his master's hand, and it became a place of refuge that all the slaves that were, you know, healing. being punished, we went there for healing because the hot water has healing properties. It can boil an egg but won't burn the skin off your body. This is in St. Thomas? Yeah. St. Yeah. Thomas, yeah. Jamaica. It's called Bath Fountain. Bath Fountain. Bath Fountain. You, you were going to get you there. <laughs> really? I've been to St. Mary. Okay. okay. That's not far. It ain't St. Thomas. But I was at Golden Eye. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, man. You live in the billion dollar life, life with Chris Black and at, Bronson and you these guys, man. James Bond life. I told you he was an op. I told you he was an op. We have to take you uh, to the deep culture. The oh, deep. Okay, yeah, that, that's not golden eye. You mean all no, that, no. all that service that's food and no, 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 no. You want no. Some, what you, you mean a bungalow on the lagoon? No, no, that's no, not no. Jamaica. That's a beautiful. That's, that's a beautiful that's Jamaica. A beautiful that's, Jamaica. That's, that's Jamaica. A beautiful but we want to carry you to another type of beautiful Jamaica. You want to see a man cook a a a a, a stone fire, wood fire? Yeah. Plate for you in the riverbed. Yes. In the riverbed? In the riverbed. Yes. Right, on the side of the river. Stone. Boil down coconut juice till you see it go down to custard Some cream. boiled dumpling and wow. green banana yeah, and man. cassava and... With that smoky flavor. We call that yeah, cookie dough in a coat now. Mm. <laughs> we call cookie what? Yeah. Cookie, yeah. cookie, cookie dough in a coat now. Cookie dough in a coat now. It's like coconut. Coconut, juice. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Translated as cook it down in coconut. Yeah, man. Yo, rub that record, DB. We got Morgan Heritage <laughs> here, man. We having a good time rub, right rub, now. Rub, come rub, on, rub. man. They said, Sway, we want to come up here and bust something, do something. We want to freestyle. Yeah. I said, to what? They said, whatever. Oh, and no. DB, drop that beat on the rub, Welcome rub, to the Valley of the Hyenas. Yeah. Yeah. All right, turn that up, Torch. Okay. That's what it is. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna show you what the sound sound system culture teaches us. Okay, because when you drop any rhythm, you can't sing a tune. So let it soak in. Yeah, no, it's a sealer. There goes the end of an era. era. No more we can fly on the truth, but yeah, I am not stronger than ever. ever. And no, we say sealer. There goes the end of an era. era. No more we are blind to the truth, truth but yeah. I am not stronger than ever. Uh, yeah. Yo, too long of the days. Crimes of passion don't age. Mm -hmm. Rise from the streets, ignoring the signs of the beast. Mm -hmm. uh, tipping yeah. up the scale so we move weight. Suffering is over, minds made up. Tired of the blues that's played out. We're living like the Jeffersons, y'all, minds made up. Yeah. Uh, push back, no cap. Believe that, cause homie, we black as ever. We move mountains, skyscrapers, and now we finally made it. Here come the vapors. They big business backing up the big yeah, ways. Yeah. New Africa, new Zion, new yeah, ways. Yeah. Decentralization on the blockchain. If ever you're having a doubt, just huddle and watch the yeah, route. Yeah. Meet the times, watch the space. The people are rising and going away. Catch the time, keep the pace. Ready or not, we're bringing the change. United, we standing. Yeah, Divided, Montreal. we falling. Ready or not, we come. Hey, drop I'm just a number. Them of you are just a number. Yeah. Yeah, just a number. Be like it when we say. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Cause me say when me was a boy in the community No for the people they name in a laugh far for me Cause them say move with the people I am go look so money yeah. Them see him one turn and na fight against me Ghana Bushman and na try to kill me Cause me say Want a doctor, want a Bush doctor hey, hey. Want a doctor for cheap cup and me stroke top ah. Want a doctor, want a Bush doctor Want a doctor for Peter You don't have a dread to be Rasta this is not a dreadlocks thing Even conception of your heart You say you don't have a dread to be rough star Yes Alright, swear, you're a one now No, 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 hold on, let's take it to the front 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 Why you stop? I was just feeling it You have to be dread to be rough star you understand? Yes, sir. Straight. That's for you, sweet. Straight. Rasta for Salute to my auntie Celia. Yes, sir. Rest in power, who spent a lot of time in those mountains in yeah, Jamaica. Yes, you know, living on com- Rasta compounds. Yes, sir. Yes, and uh, just sending us vibrations home as we yeah, sent our money. Yes. You know, uh, but you got <laughs> to <laughs> do that support. Yeah, man, true, true. Yes. Pat support. McKay, thank you. Yes. Love you. Thank you. Yes. Thank Love you, too. Thank you, Pat. Thank the you. Oracle. All you did, Sha- yes. Shaipu and yes, Miriam. Yes, Miriam. Miriam. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Yeah. 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 All right, lots of love. Lots yeah. of love. So much. I love you, yeah. too, <laughs> Love you, Pat McKay. Thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> Pat McKay been here. She's a pillar here at Sirius oh, yeah. XM. Really, Thank you. Really. I appreciate you. <laughs> love yes, you. Yes, she is. But my auntie, sell y'all seriousness, um, um, introduced me um, to Rastafarian uh, yes, philosophy yeah. early yes, in life. So true, true. when I had my locks, a lot of folks thought it was a trend or yeah, it, it was all, style it, yeah it wasn't had nothing to do no, with that sir. all substance. spiritual yes, and sir. then the whole mm. philosophy just like buddhism or anything true, else yeah. um is universal yeah, you man. know so rastafarian philosophies have more um um preordained stigma true. attached to it than true. truth true yeah. you know what i mean true. so people look at locks and they used to ask the silliest questions mm-hmm. which i didn't mind because I gave them the realest answers. Yes, sir. You yes, understand? Sir. So, yes, sir. Um, so um, I always uh, salute to my auntie Celia. She transitioned, beautiful woman. Mm. The first woman to ask me, like she taught me about women. Mm-hmm. And I remember as a young man, I'm a young, you know, we young. Yeah, yeah. Come on. trying to you figure know, it out. Trying to figure it out. I'm bouncing, I'm bouncing, and she watching me move, but she know my heart. Yeah, and she used to ask me, "Are you at conflict? Do you feel in conflict when you be when you go out with different women?" Wow. I've never had that question. I said, well, That's shit. a deep one. Conflict? What kind of con- conflict <laughs> of the heart? Mm-hmm. I said, well, Damn. why would you... Conflict? Of, because you're going from person to person. Yeah. And I know the type of person you are. And I know you're cognizant of what you're leaving behind mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. how you're leaving that person. So, you know, think about their heart. And she mm-hmm. changed my whole... Like, she changed my whole approach mm-hmm. wow. to women mm-hmm. in relationships or through my auntie Celia mm. but through the lens of Bless a roster soul, man. Yeah, see you should have right. married both of them that's what happened <laughs> what my auntie Celia <laughs> no not auntie Celia no. both the girls, the girls. Oh, I should have been, been like your dad yeah, that's, what right so, yeah, that's what she's saying right there that's what she's saying I mean everybody ain't gonna be like <laughs> should have did know. a Denroy man yeah. I should have <laughs> did a Denroy yeah. <laughs> That's, that's what it's called, that's the that's Denroy. Called Denroy. Catch up. Yeah. <laughs> but now, hey, gentlemen, I love this conversation. Yeah. Thank you. We've been man. trying to do this for a minute. I don't yes, know what it be, but we made it happen. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Yes. That was incredible. Yes. Yes. It really okay. was. Thank yes. you. Yes. Morgan Thank Heritage, you. give it up for them, man. The new yeah. album, Homeland, is out right now. Kalani, you want to say anything in the end? You look like they nephew. Right. <laughs> 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 no, it's just peace, love, love Every vibes. Time. You know what I'm saying? We got a connection through my family. Yes, So I'm connected to you guys, so... You know, just just bless up. Big bless up Commissioner man. Gordon, man. He's and he a, gave me some real good coffee today. I ain't that's gonna my lie. guy. Yeah, come on, he does coffee some, I shot. His dad, Commissioner Gordon, is, <laughs> yes. a, is a is a connector. He's a a, yeah. a pillar. He's yes. a, he's a True bridge. Pillar. Oh yes, yes sir. Oh, yeah. Right, and people don't know his dad is a, a famous producer, engineer. Yeah, yes, sir. He uh, he's done a lot for a lot of people. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Kalani's dad, great man, great yeah, man. Commissioner Gordon, big up. He did something for me. I didn't pay him, so that's why his son is interning. 
in here. That's well, what he did something for us, you know what I mean? And, and we didn't pay him, but so it's <laughs> so it, it's it's just love, you know what I mean? And sometimes you have to pay it forward. So yes, when someone does something good for you, make sure you do something good for someone else. Love y'all, man. Yes. Love you too, my brother. And Sway, yeah. I just want to take this opportunity to touch on the major key that was said. We want to see a lot of times we see collaborations between the hip hop artists and dancehall artists. We would love Eminem to reach out to us and say, yo, wow. Morgan to John a hook, Jay Z, link we up, Rick Cross, the whole hip hop community, Morgan Heritage is open for business. Let's see. Morgan Heritage together. is open for a hook. Yeah, man. Yo, I know Paul yes, Rosenberg sir. is tuned in right now, man. All let's, right. Let's get Marshall and Morgan Heritage. Yeah. Come on. All right, sir. Come on. If you take the first initials, it'll still be Eminem. Yes, yes sir. Man. Let's get it popping. We're on social media. Yes, sir. We're on social media at Morgan Heritage. You can find us. Yeah, all right. Yes, Appreciate sir. Appreciate y'all, man. Solid. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow. Make sure y'all tune in. We